everyone. Guess what? It's Tropical Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. I do have to tell you that I'm sorry. I put the link in the wrong place again, and I posted the link for you guys to come live with me, but it confused people so that they started coming into the green room early and they didn't go to the uh, live stream. It, I'm learning as I go. Like I said, I'm not uh, an expert on technology. So Jen, who's my, she volunteered to do this behind the scenes. She's unable to join us. And so my niece, Rachel, who's 17 years old, just got a crash course. I'd like to make, blame her for the mistakes, but really it was me. So I'm just going to say, I'm sorry again. I don't want to confuse you. Earlier in the day, I posted uh, this, the link to go live, like, so you can come on screen with me thinking that you guys would be more prepared, but it just confused people and I'm sorry. So I pulled it down. We will put it up again later because I love seeing what you're doing and I love to hear where you're from. So don't get camera shy, you know, just again, when we do that later, you're going to turn your volume down so it doesn't make that squealing noise and you are going to say where you're from and show us what you're doing today. So it's Tropical Tuesday. Look, I got my sunblock on, I got my beach hat, I got some flowers, I got my swim dress on, I got my friend the Flamingo. Here's what I want you guys to do. What's my Flamingo's name? Let's give him some fun F names. Is it Fred, is it Frank, is it Phil? Phil, well, Phil's PH, but it still sounds like a f name. So you guys can name the Flamingo today. And we're going to just do a flamingo because it's fun and beachy and it's a good way to warm up, right? Let's warm up today for Tropical Tuesday. So if you have not joined us before, we're going to do a drawing. You can use any supplies you have. You can draw with a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, a colored pencil, an oil pastel, whatever you have handy, draw with, okay? I have all, well, this is my second week now, but I usually use um, computer paper, copy paper, which is eight and a half by 11. Today, I'm gonna just use a larger piece of paper. Let's, Rachel, can you take the Tropical Tuesday banner off? Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, snap. So, good job. Uh, anyway, so I made my paper larger today, so I'm hoping it's a little bit easier for you to see. And I'm going to draw with black marker again so you can see it a little bit easier. And when I draw or when I even when I look at things and I think of a simple way to draw them, I like to see letters, numbers, shapes in an image. That way it helps me draw it easier and it helps me teach it easier. So what I want to do is start with the number two. And that is this. Sorry if my head's in the way. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to teach with my glasses on, but I'm going to give it a try. So I'm doing the number two. This is practice. I would not do this. If you have canvas, is my hat blocking? I would not do this on canvas. I would do a sloppy copy first. So we're starting with our sloppy copy, and you're going to do the number two. Again, practice. It could be a little tiny practice. It could be a bigger practice. It could be huge. I'm just doing it this big so you can see. All right, so after I have my number two, I'm gonna make this part come down, 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 and stop. And then I'm gonna go down, 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 and around, and stop. So that's like a, like a partial circle. And then I'm gonna do a vertical line, vertical. And if you were here last week, remember when we were doing shamrocks, we, we started with hearts. So if you were here last week, we did a lot of hearts. So this, where his wing is, is just a half a heart. So I'm going to do up, over, hold on, let me, up, over, and down. There's his wing. You can give him a little eyeball. So if you want it to look more like a seagull, like Scully, you know Scully? If you want, it could be a triangle nose. If you want it to be like our flamingo who we're gonna name today, you could make it a little bit bigger beak, longer, and it kind of arches. You see his big beak that arches down, he's so wiggly. Usually he's on my deck, but I brought him in the house for our fun tropical day. So 
Do you guys know where flamingos live? That's a thought for today. I have a banner for that, Rachel. Where You guys can wonder where flamingos live. So where do flamingos live? There's some in Cleveland at the zoo, but that's the only time I've ever seen them. I can tell you that they don't live in Ohio. So thanks, Rach. You can take it down. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do his beak. So again, a line down. Now I want to make mine a flamingo. So I'm going to make it go down and back up. There's his flamingo nose. Again, you could just do a long triangle if you want to do a seagull. You know those seagulls always try to eat your food on the beach? All right, vertical line, horizontal line. Vertical line. And you can give them some little claws. I hate to call them claws, they sound so. Feet, let's just call them feet. Now, you guys, that was practice. Why do I want to practice a fling flamingo? Well, you could always add a flamingo in your tropical painting later. And somebody asked me if we could do a uh, Australian artwork. One of the people who are from Australia that have been messaging me so today with our tropical painting, you guys can make it anywhere tropical. It could be Australia. So it's tropical because it has palm trees. Once again, we don't have palm trees in Cleveland or in Ohio. I love palm trees. Oh my gosh, Dr. Seuss palm trees are the best, coolest palm trees. We don't have them. They would not live here. I could barely get a palm plant to stay alive in the summer here. But I love drawing them. I love seeing them all over, uh, but they, they're not here. So that would be another thing to think about. Where are palm trees? Where do palm trees grow? Hmm. Do they grow to a certain height? Are they taller and shorter in different places? What grows in a palm tree? Think about it. I just want you guys to wonder, what, what grows in a palm tree? Do bananas grow in a palm tree? I'll tell you, I always thought bananas grew in a tree. They don't. You can look it up. Uh, you tell me later where bananas grow. But coconuts, coconuts can be in a palm tree, right? Coconut milk, mm, I love coconut milk. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys enough time to practice your flamingo in case you want to add a flamingo later. Got it? Now we're going to practice palm trees because I had so many people say, are we going to print out palm trees? How are we going to know how to paint a palm tree? Well, we're going to practice a palm tree. So I just put two over here just to show you guys. And I'm going to practice a couple over here so you can follow along with me. And again, so I just put some computer paper on here. So it's eight and a half by 11. It didn't, it's not sticking anymore. So hold on, let me tape it back up here so you can see it. All right, so let's start over here. So I'm going to do my palm trees so that they're curved. Yours don't have to be curved. I just think that they look more fun when they're curved. So I'm going to do a curved line and another curved line. Remember the other day when we were doing the leaves on the tree, we were doing almost like an almond shape. So if you were here last week, we did a lot of trees, and that's the shape that I'm going to use for the palms, but palms are much larger than regular tree leaves. So I'm going to do that almond shape. Now imagine if there was like a dot in the middle. So all the palms are going to come from that little dot. So I'm going to do an almond shape, like a line like that, and a line like that. A line like that, and a line like that. A line like that, and a line like that. A line like that, and a line like that. Kind of looks like a flower, right? I'm going to do another one next to it just so you can. Oops, I forgot. I don't want to confuse you guys. Let's start again from the bottom. Forget about that line. If you already did it, that's okay. I just want to try to do it simple. So there's our tree. Remember, so it gets wider at the base and it gets thinner as you work your way up. So wider at the bottom, thinner at the top. If it ends up being the same thickness, it's going to look like a cactus. So start again. If you messed up, because I messed up, start again. It's all right. Try, try again. So there's my palm leaves.
this one, so those are pretty simple because today in the painting, we're going to make them silhouettes. You can do them however you want. But so they would be solid black so I or green or purple or solid, whatever you want it to be. But um, this one, I'm just going to put a little bit more detail. So if you choose to not make it a silhouette and you want to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'll do this, this one. So remember, the bottom is wider, so I'm going to start up. And then it's going to get narrower. So start at the bottom, go up, then it's going to get narrower. Do you guys wear your flip flops today? Then I'm going to do the same almond shape. It's almost like a long football. And back, out, do 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 do, and back, do do do, out, do 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 do, and back, do 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 do, out, back. Out and back. You, now, to make the, again, this one would be a little bit more realistic, to make it look round, to make it look dimensional, I would do these curved lines. Curve, 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 curve. In my palm tree, and then you put like a split line down the middle, maybe some little lines on my leaf randomly. Line down the middle, little lines. Line down the middle. Again, this is just try it, practice, see if you like it. If you don't like it, don't do it that way. All right, how's those palm trees coming? I wish I was sitting under one right now, but we're gonna pretend. Today we're using our imagination, right? So it's, it was actually fun for me to run around my house and look for stuff. I had like a flowered necklace, from, but I couldn't find it. So sometimes you just can't find anything. I'm hoping you found your flip-flops. I'm hoping you found, I got, I found my beach blanket, my beach towel, my sunglasses. My, I love glitter. Can you tell they're glitter? They're the glitter sunglasses. So, all right, there's our palm trees. You know what else I want to do just to get us in the mood? Alexa, play Beach Boys Surfing USA. <laughs> if you guys haven't joined me before, sometimes Alexas go off. And what a fun way to celebrate our tropical beach day by listening to Beach Boys. So it's really fun music. I cannot play music on here because of the copyright. So you guys can play it and feel free to get up and dance to your Beach Boys. Beach Boys, I was really listening to it before uh, I went on just to kind of get me in the mood. And it's just a super fun way to, you know, enjoy yourself. And I really find music very relaxing and fun and, you know, therapeutic. So along with painting today, if you want to listen to music, I highly recommend it. So I'm going to show you a couple examples before we get going. Last week we did a sunset. So this is more of a moon and it's over water and clouds. Do not be intimidated by that. That means don't be afraid of it. So when I was talking about Australia before, could this be Australia? This absolutely could be Australia. If you wanna, <laughs> hi Margaret Mary. <laughs> and hi Peg. Peg, Margaret Mary's, Margaret Mary's a dear friend and her mother Peg has been watching every day. So thank you so much. And anyway, here's another idea. All right, so you, this could be Australia last year. <laughs> Carol's Alexa went off. I hope it's playing. Everybody's got to surf for surfing USA. I don't even know if I'm allowed to sing that because, you know, but it didn't really sound like the song, so don't worry about it. I did go surfing one time, and it was really, really hard. So uh, kudos to those surfers out there. Now, what's really interesting, you guys, if you're working with your um, family on this, which the pictures are amazing, you guys could actually create a huge artwork. Look at how my canvases went together, right? So you can create, if you're using canvas or paper, you can make them connect. So you would, as you're designing it, and if you want to pre-draw it with a pencil, go ahead. I don't do that, but you are welcome to do that. Or you can do it later. So if there's, you know, you and your sister, you can put your stuff together and make them align. So whether they're separate, it looks good separate, or you can put them together and it could be an artwork that goes together. 
totally up to you. You can have five of them together. It could just be the Bahamas. Okay. It could be Jamaica. We've had people from Jamaica here all two weeks, two weeks, guys. I know there's a Beach Boys song that talks about Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you. So to the Florida Keys. I'm going on vacation when this is all over with. Okay, you guys. So we can just think about it. We can do this. We can get through this together. We just got to have fun and carry on. So, all right. Everyone keeps asking me what kind of paint I use. I use acrylic paint. You can use whatever you have. You can use watercolor. You can use colored pencils. Just use what you got. So every time I do this painting, it comes out a little different. Depends on my mood. Depends on the colors. I'm gonna. You don't have to use these colors. I want you to use whatever colors you have. So um, I'm gonna do mine a little bit pinker, purpler today. You know. Um, I'm going to use that big square flat paint brush. If you don't have one, just use the round. It's fine. I like to use that big brush because I go quicker. So my canvas is 16 by 20. I'm going to start with it white. And again, you guys can do the whole background with me. You can do your palm trees later and take your time. You can let it dry. You know, so we could do the background together. Or you can just watch or you can just color whatever you want. So here's my big paint brush. Okay, can you guys see that? It's a, that's called a uh, flat paintbrush. So I am going to take my acrylic paint. This is what my paint looks like. So I don't expect you guys to have neon fluorescent paint, but I love, I wanted to get some really bright colors today because it's fun and you guys can see it easier on the screen. So I'm gonna scoop up that big brush. I didn't wet it, but it's okay if you wet yours first. And I'm going to do some white and some light blue for my water. Okay. Oops horizontal brush strokes and you guys I'm probably going to go up you know that far oh people always say how far are you going up it doesn't really matter but maybe that far maybe a little less I don't know horizontal brush strokes by the way your starry nights were amazing I love them I know each device is different where it says check in so if you can find the check in they're in different places on different, you know, an iPad, it's on one place. On phones, it's on another place. I know it's not the easiest to find. So if you can find the check-in, please upload a photo and where you're from, and you can put your message in there as well. If you can't find it, just message it to me, okay? Message it to me, and I'll try to post it. Why I feel bad about that is I try to post everybody's that everyone sends to me, and I know I miss some. So I don't want I don't miss yours because you think you know. I don't want you to think I don't like it. I love them all. You guys have brought me to tears. I am so blessed and thankful that you are doing this with me, and we're having a good time, and that you're enjoying it. So. If you cannot, again, check in is easier than you guys are all together. You can see everybody else's. If you cannot check in, message it to me. And same thing, if you have questions, you have no idea what I'm doing, you're completely lost, ask everybody else. So as you guys are typing in and saying hi and stuff, you guys can um, ask, what'd she say? Am I too late? Can I start now? What supplies am I supposed to use? What day is today? Am I in the right place? Whatever questions you guys have, ask each other and answer each other and help each other. It's Tropical Tuesday. All right. So there's my water. Now, if I really want, I could put a little bit of like neon green. Again, my green is pretty bright. I'm using brighter colors today so you can see it. Can you see that green on there? Yeah, you can see that. Is it like a stripe on a flag? No. It just kind of went in there wherever it wanted to. Now, watch this. If I keep going over and over and over it, it's going to mix in. So you don't want to keep, even though it's fun to keep going over and over and over it, if I did, I'm going to show you. If I did that, it would just all turn the greenish blue. That's not what I want. I want to see the streaks of green. So I just put it on there and leave it alone. Put it on there, leave it alone. If you have a canvas, I would paint the edges and the sides and the bottom. We could do it later. All right. Pretty good. So next, I am going to just jump. I'm going to take this dirty brush 
And I'm going to use a darker blue for the sky. So yeah, I'm going to leave a gap. And if you don't have a gap, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to use a darker blue for up top. If you only have one blue, which probably I have 100 blues, if you only have one blue, so how would I go from light blue to regular blue? Well, the light blue, you added white. So when you go to the sky, don't add any white. You can just make it blue. So light blue is blue and white and maybe some green. And then the sky is just regular blue. Now, if you have really dark blue, I would probably add a little white to it too because why would I not want my sky to be too dark? Are you answering yourself? Think about it for a minute. I want to have contrast. We've talked a lot about contrast. That's when you can see a big difference, right? So my island and my palm tree would not show up that well if it was against the dark blue background. And even here, you on the screen, you can't really see the leaf that great. So that's why I'm making this one a little bit lighter so that my palm shows up and it has contrast. So that's about all I'm gonna do right there. Now, could I put some of that deeper blue in my water? Of course. So while I have it on my brush, I could just put, so I can do one of two things. I could use it skinny ways or sideways. Just add some of that deeper blue in the water because it's fun. Hmm. How's it coming? Okay. So in this one, I have purple and white and pink. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to make it a little bit, sorry, I'm off the camera. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter so you can see it easier. I'm going to use that same big brush, and now I'm going to jump down here. So I'm going to do some white, some purple, some pink. I just scooped it all on my brush. Just scoop it. Don't even mix it on your tray. Horizontal brush strokes. You can add more pink or more purple. If you don't like pink and purple, don't use it. Could you use orange and red? Sure. You don't have to use pink at all. It could be all purple. Purple and white. Any good names yet for our flamingo? Is it a girl flamingo or a boy flamingo? I don't know. I just want some cute F names. Can you tell I like to be silly? The sillier the better. I like to be silly. It's fun to be silly. How's that look? Pretty. A lot of more pink. So you see all the, the more pink in this one than in that one? So each one, every time I do it, it looks different. And that's okay. It just depends on the colors that you like and how much you use of it. And so what I'm going to do at this point, and again, if you filled that whole white space in, that's okay. I'm going to just, now I'm going to go to that round brush. So my round paint brush, it's, it doesn't look like a square. It looks pointy. So if you guys have like watercolor paint, usually the tray comes with a round brush. So that is... It's hard to see. Can you see that? A round paintbrush. So here, now I'm just going to scoop up some white. Now my wet, my paint in the background is still wet. So as I tap on it, some of the color is going to get in it. And that's what we want. We don't want the clouds. This is my clouds. And I'm going tap, 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 tap. If it makes you feel better to draw an outline of the clouds, don't make them exactly even. And you can just do a half a circle, half a circle half a circle. Now my look, my blue is wet. So that wet blue is getting into my clouds, but it looks cool. I like it. 
if you don't want it to get in there, wait for it to dry. But I think it makes it more interesting. So draw your little half circle. Just don't make them exactly the same. Bloop, 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 bloop. Boring. Don't do boring. Make them, you know, bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. Maybe another small one, medium. Okay. You tap, 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 tap. Tap 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 Now as you get down into the purple, you can go into some wispy lines. But here you want it to look puffy. Puffy. Tap 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 tap. See that? Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Are you still listening to Beach Boys? Are you, are you surfing USA? I mean, how do you not get happy when you listen to Beach Boys? You get happy. Come on, get happy. That's not Beach Boys. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, little half circle over there, baby half circle. Tap, 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 tap. All right. You get the idea, right? So as I, what I did was I just kind of blended my clouds. So I just blended in. Could I put some more white as a reflection into my water? Sure. Throw some white in there. Because, you know, the water reflects what's in the sky. So if you want to add a little bit of white in the water, go ahead. If you want to put a little bit of white in here. Go ahead. So right here, we're going to do a moon, right? So you don't want to be too light there. If, if I get too light, too pastel then my moon won't show up, right? We need contrast. So it has to be dark enough in there for my moon to show up. So I'm going to just take that round brush, start small with a tiny circle, and you can make your moon as big or as small as you want it. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Thank you. <laughs> and there's my niece, Rachel, who's doing a fabulous job we just learned. Right? Okay, I'm going to stop there. So, look, at I don't really like that moon. Although on the screen, it doesn't look so bad. So what if you don't like your moon? I don't know. What if you don't like your moon? What could you do? Cry on the floor and kick your legs? Yeah, that would solve everything. Not. So I'm just, look at this. I'm going to scoop up some more paint, and I'm going to erase it. Bye-bye, moon. Good night, moon. Bye-bye, moon. See? So then, you know what? I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and I'll put another moon in, because I did not like that moon. It was it almost looked like a square. Again, you'd think by now I know how to draw a circle. Cool. I make mistakes all the time. And I just got to keep trying and do it again and do it again and do it again and again and again and again. So you guys can let it dry. You can listen to Beach Boys music. You can jump around, take a break. If you're all caught up, you can take a break. What do we have for a name? F Ford? Is that Ford Flamingo? Ford Flamingo. All right. Is that Kathleen? Hi, Kathleen. Kathleen is a teacher and she does amazing compliments on each one of your artworks and she just loves to compliment people. It's so sweet. So I love it uh, and I appreciate you, Kathleen. And everyone that's been sharing this, thank you so much. So uh, I ask you to pay it forward, pay it forward, send your artwork to a nursing home, to a hospital, send your artwork to a police department, somewhere that you can mail it and maybe you give it to the mailman, maybe you hang it in your window, whatever you want, but pay it forward, do something nice for someone. 
make dinner tonight if you're allowed, peanut butter and jelly maybe. And if you guys could share this information, that would be fabulous. I also am on YouTube. And if you are not watching this live, then obviously you found me. But if you're watching it live, you can find the videos on my Facebook page, Artist at Heart Paint Party, under videos. And you can re-watch them. You can uh, go back. I started these last Monday. And so this is our second week. You can also watch them on YouTube as well. So if you are on both Facebook and YouTube, if you could still go over to YouTube and subscribe, it's Artist at Heart Paint Party as well. And I would appreciate that. So keep going, keep trying. You don't have to keep up with me. Do you know how many people paint all day long after this video is over? You know, most of the time a painting takes an hour to two hours for me at a paint party. So I don't expect you guys to go that fast. You guys have all the time in the world. You can set it aside and do it later. So um, I don't wanna have to, you know, sit here and talk the whole time. And since I just painted over that, I'm going to do my moon later because it's really wet and it won't come out great. So I am, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the black. So I'm going to just jump into my black paint. Now we've already practiced the um, palm trees and you can do these later. You don't have to do them now. So if you guys look at my islands on my screen, if I were to say, what shape do those look like? What, what does that look like? From the side, it looks to me like a triangle. So really the islands look like a triangle except don't use a ruler. They're not perfectly straight lines. They're kind of jagged lines. And if you look at the center part, they slightly overlap, but they don't touch. So that means one's coming in like this, one's coming in like this, and they overlap, but not touch. So you guys can do that. You could do one island. If you're in Australia and you want to make an Australian, uh, you know, uh, you could do Magnetic Island. I was at Magnetic Island last summer. And you could just do Magnetic Island with a few palm trees. You don't have to have two islands. But if, again, if you are doing it with a family member, you would want to try to connect your islands so that they match up. And then that way you could have like a big giant five canvas or paper artwork and each one is going to look different and that's what you want so everyone has a certain style to their brush stroke your artwork is going to look different than mine and it's going to look different than everybody else's and that's what makes art so incredible is that it should be different think outside the box i dug out my box you guys right my fancy box think outside the box i want you guys to think different so we're far enough, right? I found another Vincent Van Gogh in my house. This is, I don't know if I could, it'll show up great because it's in glass. So that's a Vincent Van Gogh painting. And I thought it went with our tropical theme today because it's boats on the shore. So if you want to add a boat to yours, you can add a boat to it. I'm going to, again, I'm going to use a brown paintbrush. I'm going to jump into my black. If you are not ready for this, do it later. You can watch, you can rewind it. So again, think it's going to come from the side. It could be a mountain. So I'm gonna draw a horizontal line, but it's not straight. Can you see that? I'm gonna make it thicker. There's my horizontal line. Could it be longer than that? Sure, I can make it longer than that. And then think, again, it could be like a triangle. Or if it's a mountain, you want the mountain to go up really high, it can go up as high as you want. I'm trying to make it thick so you can see it. Can you see that? And then just fill it in or do it later. If you're using crayons, you can go back and look at all the kids' pictures. So they were just like blending the sky colors with crayons. You just go over it, do some blue, do some purple, mix the crayons together on your paper, experiment. Okay, if you're same thing with the colored pencils, horizontal brush strokes, blend them, mix them, try experimenting with different colors. You don't have to use black. You can use brown for the island. You can make your island green. Whatever you want to do, use your favorite colors. I don't want you guys to have to use the same colors as I'm using. I just want you 
to experiment. So now I'm going to do my other island on the other side. So let's do this other island. I'm going to do it a little bit lower. So if you don't have room, make it higher. Just don't make it exactly the same across from it, okay? So this one would be better a little bit lower. Okay, a mountain or a hill or a volcano. Hmm, could be a Hawaiian volcano. Or Arenal in Costa Rica. And you're gonna fill it in. So my paint is pretty wet and pretty thick. That's why it's coming out gray. But that's cool. It's going to look different than my other one. I could go back over to it, you know, back over it later. So you know how you guys were practicing flamingos? Could you make a little baby flamingo on the beach? Sure. So just like we were practicing, you wouldn't want to make it that big because it would be like a giant, you know, T-Rex. It would be like a giant flamingo. So you guys can do a small little flamingo on your island. You don't even have to do palm trees. You can just do flamingo island. Okay. Totally up to you. So think about it. I'm going to do palm trees because that's what I said I was going to do. But... I wanted you guys to practice flamingos. Could you guys do a flamingo painting later and just do the whole background, all these same pretty colors? And then you could do like a flock of flamingos, right? They're all walking on the beach together. That would be cool. So um, again, those are just an, a few ideas. You can come up with your own. So how's my island looking? It looks, looks more like an alligator, right? Let's make it a little bit. Oops. All right, so remember when we talked about the palm tree, you guys, you want it wider at the bottom and then it gets narrower at the top. And I like to curve my palm trees, so I have to, I don't want to block your screen, but I'm going to do my best. With, I don't want to take my head off either because now I got flat hair. So um, let's say curve like this, curve like this. skinnier at the top and then it gets wider at the bottom wider at the bottom thinner at the top and remember those shapes of the palms are like almonds but do it thin do it thin so out and back maybe five of them one four or five depends on how much room you have two Three, four, five. Now I'm just going to show you something that I didn't show you before. If you want, you can make the end a little bit wispy. So I could do this, like just take my paint out and come out a little bit so it's not so straight. If you want, don't have to, but they're a little bit wispy. So I'm just taking the paint out and making the edges wispy. Don't have to. Just to give you an idea. It looks pretty windy, huh? Maybe it's, maybe it's a tropical storm. Yours can be, look at how tall and thin these are. This one's a little bit shorter and squattier. Do it, how, again, you can do it however. I'll make this next one taller. And you can make as many as you want. 
So let's say I do, I'll make this one, I'm gonna make this one taller than that one since I made that one so short. So curve, curve your palm tree. Kind of like a sideways smile. Wider at the bottom, thinner at the top, paint it in. Do it later, color it in with crayons if you have crayons. And then those palm leaves, those palm leaves are more like almonds or football shapes, four or five of them, depending on how big or small. You could do more if you can fit more in, but you want, you know, your palms to be long and like a football shape or an eye shape, which is like an almond. One, two, three, four, Five. Can they overlap each other? Of course they can overlap each other. Trees outside with the leaves. Oh, have you checked the little buds on the trees this week? Mine are getting bigger, bigger, bigger every day. So again, they can overlap because the leaves always overlap. So don't worry if they bump into each other. Paint it in. And again, if you want to fuzz out the edges, make them look leafy, you know, just do little lines, little, 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 little wispy lines. Or leave them the almond shape. H.J. H.J. Petty. Hi. I'm glad you're checking in. Thank you so much. You guys figured it out? Figured out the check-in and you can see everybody else's pictures too and, com you know, comments. And don't forget to put where you're from. So it's great. We're from, I'm broadcasting from Cleveland, Ohio, where it's not so tropical today. So I did two trees. You guys can do as many trees as you want. You can put, okay, you can put little silhouettes of flamingos on the island. You can put people on the island. You can put a little guy sitting here fishing off the island. You could put little fish in your water. You could do a dolphin. Oh my gosh, did you guys see those dolphins? I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a, since I showed you the Van Gogh boats, I'm gonna put a little sailboat. But uh, this week someone did dolphins jumping out of the water. It was amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys, you don't have to do this. I'm just. It's not in the other paintings. This is how I do a sailboat. So I would just do a vertical line. Okay. Can you see that? I'm going to make it a little thicker so you can see it. Vertical line. This is just for fun. You don't have to do it. And then I'm going to do this side. I'm going to do a triangle. And this side I'm going to do a little bit smaller triangle. On my boat. Kind of looks like a face. And you would paint the sails in white. You see that? Again, that's just something extra. I'm, what I'm trying to do is give you ideas. You could add birds in the sky, a sailboat, dolphins. You can add your flamingos. There's a little sailboat. You could put little fish in the water. And let me, since, oh, I forgot my moon. Oops. So where are we going to put our moon now? I have a little bit of room over here. Could we put it over here? You can put your moon wherever you have room. I forgot about it. That's usually why I do it early. Otherwise, I forget about it. So we could put this one. Look, you could if you still have room, do your moon in the middle. I have all this room over here. So we're going to adjust. We're going to just go with the flow, and I'm going to put my moon over here.
Okay. So again, if I showed this to someone, no one would have any idea that that was a mistake. No clue. Now what I want to do though, since I put my moon over there, is put some little wispy white lines in the water so it looks like it's reflecting the moon. See that? Can you guys see that? So half the moonlight reflected on the water below it. You can even do some reflection on the island. You, you know, why couldn't the moon reflect on the island? It could. Think out of the box. What I was going to tell you guys is you could also put some stars in the sky. And the way I would do that, I would just take the handle of my paintbrush and I would dip it in the white paint, or you could just use cream. And I would just do star, 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 star. Stars are scattered. They're not in a row. They're different sizes. Just don't make them look like a pattern. Some are in clusters, some are farther apart, some are bigger, so you would probably want to do some with the bristle so that they show up a little bit more. Okay, so you guys could do stars in the sky. You could put jaws in the water. You want to put jaws. Someone, a boy said, can we please do a shark? So add your shark. You can add a little shark in the water, okay? I don't want to scare anybody, you know? There could be, oh, how about a little mermaid? Christina loves mermaids. Christina, you could put a little mermaid down here. Or the mermaid could be sitting on the on the island, right? She could be sitting on the island with the flamingos. That would be pretty. Think you're out of the box. Use your guys' imagination. Um, what else do I want to do? Please share. Please um, be kind to everybody. How long are we go? Do we oh Rachel, do you want to bring people on? You guys, um, so Rachel's my niece. She's 17. She just got a crash course in technology on running this program. So we're going to try to uh, bring some people on today. You have to turn the volume down on your computer. Otherwise, it's going to make a horrible sound and it's going to echo and uh, we have to take you off the screen. So, and I have done it myself. Please, if you would like to, you have to um, click on the link that Rachel's going to put up there for you. It, and then you get come into the green room and Rachel will put you on and don't be shy. Just say where you're from and then show your painting, even if it's not done, even if it's the practice flamingo or if it's starry night from yesterday or your favorite artwork from last week. We just want to see what you're doing. So it, I don't expect you guys to be done, but if you are, you know, that's great. And if you're not, that's great, too. So don't worry about it. So, Rachel, at any point, if you want to bring somebody up, that would be great. You know, Rachel, oh, she did it. Hi. Hi. Let's see. Where are you from? I'm Toledo. Where? Toledo. Toledo. Hi, so from Toledo. How are you? Good. Did you enjoy today's painting? Yeah. Wonderful. Did you wear anything beachy? I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Thank you so much. All right. Who's next, Rach? Anyone else in the room? Good Thank job, you. Really. Again, Rachel's working on the technical part. So tomorrow's Wild Wednesday, you guys. While Rachel, oh hi, oh, that looks great. Wow, I love it. Where are you from? <laughs> I like how you're hiding your face. Okay, thank you. I love it. It looks awesome. I like your sailboat. You tried it. Good job. So tomorrow's Wild Wednesday, you guys. We're going to do, and you can do any creature you want. Oh, hi. Look at that palm tree. Wild Wednesday, you guys. She's talking to you. We're going to do, and you hi, can do any creature you want. I'm Avery, and oh, I'm from. Hi. Look at that palm tree. I said I want to be an art teacher when I grow up. I want to be an art teacher when I grow up. Oh, wonderful. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm, I'm, I'm from Kansas City. Kansas City. Hi, I'm Kansas City. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Good job, you guys. So, again, tomorrow's Wild Wednesday, and we're going to do Wild Wednesday. We're going to do this tomorrow. We'll practice other wild creatures 
in the beginning. We'll do a sloppy copy. You don't have to do the owl. You can do any kind of owl you want or any kind of creature you want. But it's Wild Wednesday. So anybody else, Rachel, you could just keep bringing them up. Let's try to get as many. You want to show them Clairvaux? All right, this is Clairvaux. All right, we're from South Bend, Indiana. This is Charlotte's. And then this is mine. Wow. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you. Say hi. Bye. Bye. Rachel, can you get that middle thing off? That middle black. Screen. I have no idea how to get it off because that's me. Oh, you don't know how to get that off of there? No, I've tried. Okay. Hi, that's beautiful. Thank you. Where are you from? Oh, that's the flower necklace I was trying to find. Olay. I couldn't find mine. You see, she dressed in a tire. Good for you. Where are you from? Illinois. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. If you come on. Oh, yes. Hi. 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 Where are you from? Winchester, Kentucky. Thank you. We've been painting with you every day. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. You. Come on. I wonder if Rachel, why don't you just click on that thing? Maybe it'll go off. That black person. Like I've the, tried. It's like I it doesn't matter because I'm still in it. I'm still in the chat, so I don't know how to get rid of it. Got if it. I do that and it's just you, then the other people can't go on. Okay. Yeah. Well, keep bringing them on. I want to see them. Julie, look. What? There you are. See, I'm from New York City. New York City? Did you say New York City? Yes. 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 That's where, that's where MoMA is. Have you been to see a starry night? So yes. yes. At the MoMA. Oh, excellent. I love your painting. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Oh, look, in action. Hi, you have a whole setup there. Can't hear you. We can't hear you, honey. So you guys, if you're just joining us, we're pr hi! Wow. Oh. Simon, you're coming. Simon, coming up. Is that us, next? That's you. You're on. <laughs> we're coming up soon. We should just move him. This Calvin, you gotta hear me, dog. I can't do this by myself. Mom, look, we're gonna be on TV. We'll Simon do it. Where are you from? Hi, <laughs> hey, uh, my social security number is. Come on, come on. Okay, next person, thank you. <gasps> there you are. Hi. Hi, we're from Shaker Heights, Ohio. Wow, Shaker, around the corner. Thank you so much. This is so great. Thank you so much. Oh, go back like that. Hi. Hi. Can you hear us? We'll tell them where we're from. Chicago. Chicago. Excellent. Thank you for Thanks for joining us. We love your show. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. It's oh. you. Say hi. 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 I'm from Hamburg, Michigan, and this is the Pablo Picasso painting. Love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, oh, there you are. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey guys. 
We're from where? Here, here on Michigan. I know it. Oh, very nice. I love it. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Very nice. In Ohio. Oh, I love it. Are you having fun? What? Are you having fun? Yeah. Did you wear anything? This is so nice of you to do this class. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming and doing it with me. Mm -hmm. All right. See you tomorrow. Well, who else right down there? We're going to try to get everybody today. Hi. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. So you guys, we're all experimenting here. Hi. Can you, I think that they've muted it. We're all trying, right? We're all experimenting here. That looks great. Look at how pretty, like your water is so soft in the color. It looks really nice. A plus. <laughs> Good job. Anybody else, Rach? Ooh. Oh, here we go. Those look great. Hi, guys. Hi. I like your animals. My name's Caitlin. I'm from Pennsylvania. I named Allison. Beautiful. I love them. Thank you guys for doing this with me. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Hi. 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 Loud. I'm from Ankeny, Iowa. I love your painting. It looks really nice. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Where are you from? Ohio. Ohio. Excellent. I love your artwork. Thank you you. Thanks for doing it with me. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right, bye. So yesterday, you guys, I accidentally ended the live broadcast with a bunch of you in the green room. That's called the green room when you pop in and you want to get on camera. Hi. Hi. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Way. Way. Very nice. Where are you from? Gainesville, Florida. Ooh, very nice. Thanks for doing this with us. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Hi. This is mine so far. And I just want to say something. Flamingos have tails. You forgot to do the tail on the flamingo. Thank you, Do you know I forgot the tail. I'm so sorry. And I'll add the tail. And can you say, do you know where flamingos live? Caribbean. Where? The Caribbean. I bet you they do live in the Caribbean. Uh, I got to see those flamingos. I need to see one other one in the zoo. Thank you so much. Bye. I forgot the tail. Hi. Look at that flamingo. Wow. That's a pink flamingo. That's so cool. How are you? How are you guys? We can't hear you. Your artwork is amazing. I love it. Hi. Wow. Three of you guys. They look great. And it looks like, I think you're in beach attire. Do I see you guys in beach attire? <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us and drawing with us. Oh, I remember. Hello. Those trees. Oh, it's a fox. Hi. This pink. Where are you from? I'm from now South Carolina. Okay. And um, this one's my favorite. This one's the one that I did. I love it. It's awesome. Okay, this, this one's my mom with the fox in it. 
I love it. And you know what? That's another example. You guys can have Thank you. We're going to try to get this going. <laughs> I love it. And you know what? That's another family friend. We're from the Thank Florida Keys. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Hi. Oh, we can't hear you. Can't hear you. Can't hear you guys. They look beautiful. Wow. Nice. I love your palm tree. Thank you. Hi. Hi, that's beautiful. Hi, I'm from Waynesville, Ohio. Welcome. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hi. So here's the key, you guys, with the volume. What you want to do is you want to turn the volume down, but don't mute it because if you mute it, we can't hear you. So just turn the volume down so it doesn't make that squealing sound. Again, we're all learning as we go, so it's just practice. There you are. Chloe, come over here. Ooh, nice. I'm from Akron, Ohio. Oh, not far. We got another one here. Let's tell you. We got another one. <laughs> oh, I love the reflection. That looks really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Very nice. Where are you from? I'm. That's okay. I love your boat. Hi. Hi. I'm from Gretna, Nebraska. Wow. Love it. I'm from Gretna, Nebraska. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys don't forget tomorrow's Wild Wednesday. Hi, guys. Hi. Here's mine. We're from That's Ellicott okay. City, Maryland. Them. Welcome, welcome. Marilyn's in the house. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Love it. Tomorrow's Wild Wednesday. You guys spread the word. We're going to go live again. I'm going to stop doing this as soon as everyone's out of the green room. So, Rach, if everyone's out of the green room, we will please share it. Be kind to each other. Be creative. Think outside the box. And uh, please join us again tomorrow noon, Eastern Standard Time. Rachel, you did a fantastic job. I appreciate it. Bye, you guys. See you tomorrow.